Mm-hmm. Um, well, that is the parasha for this week. And, and right now we're going to take the opportunity so we can do our uh, review. We're going to do an overview of the parasha. And the, the parasha for this week, August the 17th, and 18, 2018, is called Shoftim, which is it means judges or magistrates, and it's taken from Deuteronomy 16, chapter 18 through the uh, 18th verse through the 21st chapter, verse 9. And in my Torah, it's divided into three parts: administration of the law and state, part one, Deuteronomy 16th chapter. Verse 18 through um, chapter 18, verse 8, administration of law in the state, part 2, Deuteronomy 18th chapter, verse 9, through the 19th chapter, verse 21, and administration of law in the state, part 3, Deuteronomy 20th chapter, verse 1, through the 21st chapter, verse 9. And uh, again, Moses is outlining things for Israel as they go into the land. Uh, And he's doing this before he is getting ready to die. And so he outlines the rules for Israel to become God's kingdom of priests. And the magistrates are to govern with due justice. which We said mishpat sadek um, in Hebrew. And justice, justice, sadek, sadek, you shall pursue so that you may thrive from verse 20. And they again are admonished not to bow down to other gods. Um, one of the things that uh, Moses told them, or God said to them, is that when they go into the land, they they may go ahead and choose a king if they so choose. But it was going to be chosen by God. So I thought that was a, a, a caveat. Of, um, yes, you can have a king, but I'm going to choose the king. But again, I think it points to Messiah Jesus. And the king is to have a copy of the teaching, the the Torah, and to read it all his life in order to revere God. Um, They are not to imitate the pagans by doing child sacrifices. And they must wholeheartedly be with God. Wholeheartedly tamim, blameless, tam, simple. And I uh, connected that with uh, John chapter 17 in the New Testament where Jesus is, begin, is getting ready to die such as Moses and, and he gives this uh, speech and says that he has followed only what God has told him to do and uh, anyone who said has said differently is, is perpetuating a fraud because Jesus did not come to change any of the laws he came to fulfill them not to change anything and uh, because in this uh, uh, verse 15 of chapter of uh, chapter um, verse 15 of chapter 18, I believe it, it Moses says that the the Lord will raise up a prophet much like Moses from among the people. And as it goes on, um, they, they they talk about what they're going to do in terms of the army when they. When they go into the land, they are to have no fear about larger armies. And the, and the priest is the first one to address the troops. And the first thing he says is Shema Israel and then goes on with the rest of the spiel. And, um, and then after all of that, then the other of, of the army uh, uh, commanders take over. So we again have reviewed what is in much of the Torah previously, uh, reminding them about um, uh, the um, not to do what the pagans are doing as they enter into the land, and they are getting ready to enter into the land, and this is very much what this parsha is about. John, do you have anything? There? Yeah, I was going to simply add that what uh, is in play here is the formation or the groundworks as. I think you've mentioned sometime the groundwork of forming a righteous society mm-hmm. and being um, um, and and treating other folks righteously with respect and dignity, and that comes about not 
necessarily through the king, but through the people themselves, mm. not through soldiers and armies and police, but mm. through the people themselves who, who execute this law. And that the king was supposed is, is the humblest or should be the most humblest person in Torah. Um, and one teacher did mention, and I, I did mention it earlier, mm -hmm. that uh, the basis of this Torah lesson was adopted by, um, was, I, I guess, is seen in one of the speeches of one of the presidents, that was President Lincoln, mm -hmm. part of Gettysburg Address, and when he said, and that this nation of the people, by the people, mm -hmm. for the people, shall not perish from this earth. Mm -hmm. And this now, um, what is the laws here are being executed here, or are done by the people and mm -hmm. for the people. Mm -hmm. And now the 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 laws came from God, right? And that that's also acknowledged by the founding fathers, and also by Abraham Lincoln. I'm sure we acknowledge that the source of the law comes from, from God, but um, they are, they're executed by the people and executed for the people. And unless a society has that kind of an attitude towards its laws, mm -hmm. it will not, it will not survive. Right. So. Right. Exactly. Right. It will tear itself apart. Right. It will tear itself apart yeah. through anarchy <clears throat> and Yes. But when you yes. When corruption invades the judicial system, when people take bribes, yes, and you can be bought off, yes, that's that's the end of that is a it. society. Exactly, so, that's the end. Yeah. Yes, God help so, us all. Yes, yeah, so these are, are strong warnings mm -hmm. about bribes and about righteousness and mm -hmm. executing the law. Mm -hmm. okay. God's law. God's law. So the key is God's law. Uh, it's the ex execution execution of God's right. law. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, that was great. That was a great summation. We thank you very much for listening.